I thank my colleague for her remarks and associate myself with those remarks. Arise today as the Senate considers the conference report on an issue that is critically important to our nation, the Agriculture Improvement Act of 2018, the Farm Bill. The goal, the responsibility, the absolute requirement is to provide farmers, ranchers, growers, and everyone within America's agriculture and food value chain certainty and predictability during these very, very difficult times. This conference agreement includes policy improvements from both the House passed bill and the Senate bill, which passed this body with a strong bipartisan vote of 86 to 11. 86 to 11. We have worked to maintain as many priorities for as many members as possible. This farm bill meets the needs of producers across all regions and all crops, and it ensures that our voluntary conservation programs are keeping farmland in operation while protecting our agriculture lands, our forests, and other natural resources. The bill focuses on program integrity, program integrity, and common sense investments to strengthen our nutrition programs to ensure the long-term success of those in need of assistance. And with trade and market uncertainty, to say the least, it provides certainty for our trade promotion and research programs. Feeding an increasing global population is not simply an agriculture challenge, it is a national security challenge. This means we need to grow more, raise more with fewer resources, that will take investments in research, new technology, lines of credit, proper risk management. It takes the government providing tools and then getting out of the producer's way. Organizations, organizations representing thousands of agriculture, food, nutrition, hunger, forestry, conservation, rural, business, faith-based research, and academic interests have issued statements supporting this conference report. This is what happens when the Congress works in a bipartisan, bicameral fashion. This is a good bill. It's a good bill that accomplishes what we set out to do. Provide, again, provide certainty and predictability for farmers and families in rural communities. We have made tough choices, being judicious with the scarce resources we have on behalf of the taxpayer. This may not be the best possible bill, we know that, but it is the best bill possible under these circumstances. And importantly, it provides our farmers, our ranchers, and other rural stakeholders much needed certainty and predictability. Thus, I encourage my colleagues to support this conference report. Every farmer, every rancher, every grower, everyone within our nation's food supply is watching to see if we cannot meet our obligations and pass this bill, this bill. So let us do that. Let us tell those farmers and ranchers and growers who are going through tough times that they're going to be good for the next five years. Their lender, their lender is paying attention to this bill. Let us support this bill. I yield back, Mr. President.